Touching down at dusk in Paris, the key moment of Ukraine's war approaching, its leader is shoring up support, met on the runway by the French Prime Minister, then greeted with fanfare at the Elysee Palace. A second visit here and a similar narrative. After the handshakes and the smiles, the questions for President Macron over the three-hour dinner. What more can France provide before Ukraine launches its counter-offensive against Russia? President Zelensky, in optimistic mood as he arrived, tweeting this. Paris, with each visit, Ukraine's defence and offensive capabilities are expanding. The ties with Europe are getting stronger and the pressure on Russia is growing. In a brief joint statement after the meeting, it was confirmed France will now send dozens of light tanks and French troops will be involved in the training of Ukrainian soldiers. But it was Germany where President Zelensky had the biggest support. He travelled there earlier to collect the prestigious Charlemagne Prize for European values and also received a 2.7 billion euro military aid package, including state-of-the-art Leopard tanks, as well as air defence systems. The long weekend of shuttle diplomacy began in Italy with an audience with the Pope and a warm welcome from Italy's right-wing leader, whose coalition partners have previously praised Russia. And in the past few hours, the UK too has answered calls for desperately needed air defence missiles and drones. They're sending hundreds, indications that point to last-minute preparations in Ukraine's fight to recapture lost territory. <laughs>